As much as you may not know, I live in a really tiny cottage. Uh, what makes it really practical is having amazing sheds. We've got about five sheds that go a long way back here. And I'll just like to show you my staircase. It was originally a wooden ladder. I couldn't get any of the older people that came to visit my studio up the stairs. It was too much for their hips to get up on these on this ladder so I had a builder actually make me a wooden staircase with a little veranda and I decided I'd like more of a fantasy uh, I suppose castle or turret or some idea of a uh, something a bit more magical it was also quite cool to have a little dog's house in here the dogs can sit in here and they can see out of the windows if anyone arrives so they like to see the cars come and go Let's go and see the studio. Come and show everyone your studio. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Now this is Eli. This is my one and only grandchild. Absolute angel. He's very brave and he loves the studio. What did I put in here? Where's the dogs? That's for that. That's for Frankie. Where's the bears? Oh, what's the bear say? This is an old inkwell with some eyeballs in it, isn't it? Where's the eyeballs gone? Hi. Eyeballs? Are they eyeballs? <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? And where's Nana's favourite shells? where you can't reach them. Would you like to have a little look at Nana's favorite shells? Oh, tantalizingly close. Fishes and mermaids. All the things in the sea, more shells. We've got seahorses though. And these are polar bears. And they go, rah. Oh, ah. oh yes. Ah. Oh. Ah. And where's the other fishes? Way up in the sky, they're high where you can hardly see the fishes. Oh, do you want to touch the fish? Oh, but look, there's your little mouth. Where's the birds? Should we count the birds? Oh, how many birds are there? Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five. Good boy. Yes, six, seven. Oh my goodness, what the heck in heck? Billy Goat Griff, do you want to pat the Billy Goat? Do you want to pat him? Oh, he's so great. All these many and varied moles were used on a job, beautiful job at a cemetery for a stillborn sanctuary. It's a shrine wall of remembrance. All of the ones you see here really were just either repeats that I did, because I did about 30 birds while I was doing birds, I did angels and the sea. All these elements were left over from the um, large commission that took me about two years to do. <laughs> monkeys, we love monkeys. Yes, we do. And what's this? A duck. What's a duck say? Well done. Here we have a handrail, got to keep it all safe. This was just few extra hands to get the hands up the handrail. Quite love this. Got a few elements of time here, clocks. And as we come up, we'll see these lead light windows. These are fake lead lights, as in it's glass on glass with some black grout. They make a beautiful job both sides. I can't believe how well they work. I use two pot adhesive, which is ultra clear, and then you glue the glass on, it's lots of fun. And then the black grout just really brings it into the more the stained glass look. Up here we've got a beautiful view. Got a lovely spot to uh, pop the cup of tea on here. Yeah. But untold birds. We've got a lot of doves. We've got 20 doves around here. amazing sunsets from up here so this is the this is the place to catch the sunsets we've got the hills we've got the cute little house 
and it's three chimneys. I love how playful it is. We've got uh, the symmetry. You really can only see it when you stood back on the driveway. So when you arrive here, it's probably the first thing you see. And even in the depths of winter, when it's really dark and miserable, the gold actually just shimmers and it comes alive. And to some extent, this, lead li this mosaic has always seemed like it's dancing, there's movement. Cut all these plates to look like a leaf. And the writing on the two pots, you can only see this one at the moment, it says, waste not, want not. Never waste anything, it always comes in handy. These are the insulation bits of the old uh, telegraph poles that come down, the old ceramic ones. People give me all sorts of material, which also helps. Frankie's checking out, see if anybody comes up the drive. These little holes I left for Frankie, they're just the right height, and as he goes down the steps, he can, he can stick his head right out this one. What is it? Where are they? Are they coming? We've got any visitors. Okay. So Eli is my greatest fan. He loves all my art. He doesn't walk past anything, especially if it's new. He notices every single thing. Great eyesight, better than mine. Should we go and have a look in the studio? That's right. Oh, come and see all your favorites. Oh, it's a crocodile. A little baby crocodile. What's your favorite? There's the monkey skull. And this is the little squirrel in there. Eli comes up here every day and he notices anything new. I've just popped these birds up here, so it's really got him and he's never seen the budgie before. Watch out for your fingers. Oh, you're so brave. You want to touch the fox today? Oh, you're right in the teeth. You are brave. Want to pat the bunny? Uh, oh, it's nice and gentle. Uh, nice and fluffy. Uh, Lovely. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. What a beautiful little dog. I'm uh, mm, going to give it a kiss. Oh, we're going to see the flying pig now, don't we? <laughs> oh, he's flying through the air. There he goes. He's a lovely pig. Everything's flying. There's a whole lot going. Right. There's the scary otter. Put your, put your fingers in his mouth. See what he does. No, not today. Where's the sheep? Can we call them? Pixie! Come on, Pixie! Hey, you did it. You did it. Where's Pixie? Nah. Come on, Pixie! It's just a staircase. <laughs> when all said and done, New Zealand doesn't really have any stone buildings that's the joke it's a very english look the uh the stone cottage look i hope you've enjoyed my staircase which i call the staircase to heaven um i have a lot more to show you so please subscribe to my youtube channel goodbye for now